Hey YouTubers, got my Christmas tree set up. <laughs> yeah, but what I thought I was going to show you is my pinlock visor. So I've been speaking to a few motor vloggers on YouTube, and uh, there's been some uh, doubts about the pinlock visor. Some people have have used them and and not. At, uh, well, they, they seem to work at first, but then uh, people have trouble with them. So, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a little insight as to how the pin lock visor actually works and how you can tighten it up and um, and, and hopefully keep it um, mist free. So, this, this is the pin lock for my, my showy helmet. There we go. That's my showy quest. And that's the insert for the visor. You can see on the insert, if we look carefully, just there on the insert, as it focuses, is the the actual recess that the pin sits in. When this goes into the visor, so you've got a pin there, and a pin on the other side. And we've got a notch there on the insert and a notch on the other side. So you can see how the pin lock visor actually inserts. Now the edge of this insert has got this slightly raised kind of rubbery rim. So when that actually sits against your visor that gives you an airtight seal and that's the principle behind a part of the principle behind the the pin lock visor is that the airtight seal prevents the um, air from getting to the visor and, and, and misting it up. Um, but it requires that the vi that the seal on the insert be tight up against the visor at all times. And over time, you'll find that um, the visor is going to loosen. Or rather, the insert is going to loosen. Things wear, things stretch, and they go out of shape, and and whatnot. But they are adjustable on the pin lock visor. So this this is the the actual pin. If I can focus on it, there we go. You can just see the hexagonal edges of the pin. If I can. There we go. That is the pin on the pin lock visor. And you'll notice there's the hexagonal kind of shape. And that's that's uh, to allow you to get a tool at it to, to tighten it up. You can tighten it up by hand. I usually tighten it up by hand, but you can get you can also get a tool on it. Um, I'm not sure the, the exact size because I, I just do it by hand. But the other feature is this little this little arrow. If I can just get it right, it's tricky holding the camera at the same time. I've not done this before. So this little this little nub sticking out this side of the pin lock itself. That one. There you go. That indicates the, the tightening on the pin lock visor. And the way this works, if we look at it side on, is the pin that goes through to the other side of the visor is not central. It's off-centered. Which means, if I can do this and keep the camera on it, if I rotate this pin, it moves towards the front of the visor. And I'm sure it doesn't take much imagination to figure out the effect that that has on the insert. It's going to push it forwards. So we can see here now the pin is mostly towards the front of the visor. Get that. More of the visor in there. You see that? So that's that's going to be at its tightest setting. If I rotate that back to where it was, we 
with the pin facing so that's 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 kind of central so that's, that's kind of halfway in between keep rotating there we go it's towards the rear that little notch is facing towards the front of the helmet and that's the opposite side of where the pin is okay which means if if I if I then put my insert in put it in at its loosest setting which I, I cannot do with one hand so okay that pin that insert is now inside the visor but my pins are not tightened up they're facing towards the front in order to tighten that up I want to turn it as much as I can towards so that so that the nub is facing the rear this is where the tool is going to come in handy the little hexagonal tool that fits that um, because it is quite stiff to turn by hand that the the more that you can tighten that up the better the seal you can you can see the this seal from the insert See, the more I can turn that so that the nub faces the rear of the visor, the tighter it will be. And I'll do the, try and do equal amounts on both sides. And your visor, will, your insert will be as tight as it can be against the visor. And hopefully prevent it from losing its, its seal. And it's usually this point here at the at the front and the bottom of the visor where with where it loses its seal first um, so I've had to do this a couple of times in the last year that's it um, the, the mist starts to to creep up inside this this area here and as soon as I've noticed that started to happen uh, the first thing I do take off the visor give it a good clean dry it out overnight stick it back in and make sure that these pins are tightened up as far as they can go. So I'm going to give that a go now. Um, and I need two hands to do that, so just a sec. Okay, I've tightened that up a bit. See this side, I've managed to, to get it to, that's what, 10 o'clock. This side, however, I could only get to, uh, what is that, it's almost 12 o'clock before I, I could not turn it any further so that I know I know now that, that insert is about as tight as I can possibly get it inside and I shouldn't have any problem with misting so yeah if you have a if you do have a pinlock visor and you have problems with misting give that a try turn turn the pins so that they tighten up properly uh, and if you need to well uh, in any case, I would say dismantle it completely, clean it, dry it, and um, and have a look and see which direction the pins actually need to be facing in order to be at their maximum tightness. And you shouldn't have any problems. I hope that helps. Alright, ride safe and keep those visors clear.